Hey everyone, I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you all my liquid lip balm collection. I'm going to be sharing with you all like my gloss in a stick collection. So we're dealing with like melting balm formulas, gloss and stick formulas, as well as liquid lip balm formulas. What they all pretty much have in common is a bit of a balminess to them. This is different than my lip gloss and lip oil collection, but if you would like to see that declutter, I will leave it linked for you all. I'm particularly very excited about this video because I love a balm formula. I want something enveloping. I want it to feel nourishing on the lips, but I never want it to be too sticky or feel like it's sliding off my lips. That's just a bit about what I look for, but I hope you all find exactly what you're looking for in today's video. And if you enjoy it, if you enjoy all of the speed reviews and swatches, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or subscribing. I tend to do mini reviews within my declutters. It definitely makes these videos a little bit longer, but if you appreciate that kind of in-depth look, then I'd love to have you back on my channel. That's kind of how I do things around here. And by the way, in these videos, you guys always ask me what my nail polish is. This is pretty much a holy grail item for me at this point. It's from London Town. It is their nail concealer. You always ask me what shade I have. So this is the pink illuminating shade. I will uh, leave a link down below to this as well as all of the products that we talk about. And by the way, this is just one coat. When you do two coats, it becomes way more opaque, but I love this one coat because it doesn't really look like I'm wearing nail polish. It just looks like a really healthy nail look. I believe they came out with more shades as well. I don't know if you can tell. I've used a lot of it over the past year and my sister also really loves it now. Anyway, so I'm going to be sharing with you all this collection. I'm not going to do a ton of decluttering in this video just because I did recently declutter this and then didn't film it unfortunately, but I will be passing along a few items and I'll let you guys know which ones those are. It takes a lot for me to go ahead and recommend a luxury lip product. I really need the formula to be something special. You'll find in this video, I really love lip products of a ton of different price points. What really sets the Hourglass Volumizing Glossy Balms apart, in my opinion, and the reason I think they might be one of my favorite makeup finds of 2023 is one, the shade selection. This is the shade Entice. It is such a beautiful, wearable berry. There's just enough pink to it, but again, if you want a touch more berry for especially this time of year, it's so gorgeous. They also have um, a variety of more nude shades. This one is the shade Mist. Hopefully you can see just by swatching it, the formula is insanely smooth and it has it's a little bit thicker and it kind of envelops the lips and really locks onto them in a way that doesn't make these really slippy or super oily they really do feel like a lip gloss in a stick form that has that kind of balmy comfort that a lot of us look for in lip products these days. You know, there's nothing nice about applying a lip product that you immediately want to take off. This is my favorite shade of all of them. Um, if you love a coral, then this is for you. This is the shade Lucid. It is super well loved in my collection. I have found that it just makes every look shine a little bit brighter. Um, if you have a little bit more of a warm skin tone, I highly, highly recommend that shade. We also have the shade Impulse as well. Uh, just the variety that you can see even just within these four shades. Such a pretty shade for this time of year. This one's a little bit more of that kind of black cherry color that a lot of people really enjoy this time of year. Whereas if you wanted to go a little bit brighter, um, Entice is going to give you a little bit more pink. Whereas that black cherry shade, you know, I can see a little bit more purple to that one. I think we can swatch one more. This is the shade Rise. If you're a fan of a cool lip color, look no further. Just such a perfect everyday cool brown. And that one, you can see it has less pigment than the others, but what's really gorgeous about it is it just adds this really soft 
a coolness to a lip color so you can actually really layer this. I love a cool brown lip color to add edge to kind of any look that I have going. The next shade I have here is the shade Slip. This is a very popular one. I can absolutely see why. Uh, if you're into a dusty rose, you're really gonna love this one. Pretty much going to look good on everyone. <laughs> like I can't imagine that looking bad on a single skin tone. These kind of classic rose shades, I find beautiful literally all year round. Um, I also have the shade Desire here. Desire has a little bit more pink, a little bit more pink purple, whereas Slip, you can see, is just a touch warmer. Both are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm looking at these being kind of the perfect everyday lip color. You want kind of like a terracotta rose. Haze is just such an insanely pretty shade. Shades that might look the same like in the tube, but when you put them out on the hand, they have these nuances and these differences to them. So you can really dial in exactly the shade you want based on your undertone. Now the shade Sense also will give you a good sense of this. Way more of a soft kind of warm pink, really good for like a kind of a nude lip lover. And lastly, we have the shade Desire, which Desire, I feel like I already swatched this one, but maybe I didn't. Desire's right there on the end. I really couldn't recommend these enough. I've spent quite a bit of time on these now, but just know I'm keeping all of these and they're some of my favorite lip products that I own. If you're new to my channel, I love doing these kind of mini comparisons within these collection or declutter videos. For example, I would say right away, if you've been looking at the YSL Candy Glaze Gloss Stick, you're wondering if you should pick it up, I would again, I would lead you towards the one from Hourglass. And the reason being is that I do like this formula from YSL. I think it's really pretty. This is the shade 04. But what you might be able to notice even just with the swatch is that this formula is thicker. Hopefully you could see the formula is still pretty thick. But when you put out the Hourglass onto the hand, the Hourglass to me feels a bit smoother and has a little bit more of like almost a gel-like quality. What's really nice about a formula that feels more balmy and more gel-like is you're really able to get a ton of glossiness and kind of fill in the lines of the lips. And maybe you can even see from these two swatches that the YSL doesn't necessarily fill in any lines of the lips. It's glossy, but it feels more kind of kind of like a lipstick, like a highly pigmented lipstick with a bit of glossiness rather than this kind of melting balm, volumizing balmy glossy formula. Again, more close to a lipstick formula with a little something extra. So um, I'm just kind of like trying to check your expectations with this product if you're expecting something similar to the volumizing glossy lips from Hourglass. It's not totally dissimilar, but I do prefer the Hourglass formula. Now, I'll also do a little mini comparison of these two formulas for you all. This will be fun. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip formula from Tarte. We have the Plump as well as the Original. Now, in the Original, I have the shade Orchid. Admittedly, this is not a good shade for me. I don't, I don't like the shade. On my lips, I can kind of see the differentiation between the pigment and my lip color. I'm not dealing with that problem as much with the Hourglass formula. I like a glossy balm formula that kind of becomes one with the lips. I'm not left with this strong demarcation line between the lip color and my lips. That kind of ring that you can sometimes get, maybe you guys know, I sometimes refer to it as the butthole lip. I think partially this could be because of this particular shade. I don't think it's a bad formula. Um, personally, I would just not recommend this kind of warm nude shade to someone with my natural lip color. This is one of my favorite lip formulas ever um, and lip shades. Like the combination of this is pretty much perfection in my opinion. The Juicy Lip Plump, which this just has a touch of a tingle, the original does not. Um, and this is the shade Honeysuckle. Look no further if you are looking for 
that like cherry coke black cherry shade it is phenomenal on the lips i can't even tell you how pretty it is add a little bit of lip liner add this onto the lips and it just creates the perfect brown blackened cherry shade and not only does it feel really nice on the lips it has this again really pretty enveloping formula that kind of sticks where you put it but doesn't feel too sticky well it has that it also just looks really nice on the lips again it has that kind of plump that i do feel like gives me a touch of a plump but it also kind of fills in those lines of your lips which um, you're probably noticing a theme. I love when my lip color does do that. There are a lot of lip formulas that are pretty, but I always look for that extra something. And when I can find a lip product that really smooths the lips and kind of creates this, kind of creates that water droplet effect, that really volumized, healthy look, that's what kind of stands out a beautiful, beautiful formula for me. So that's the deal with these guys. Another formula that does that for me is the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Balms. Now, not every shade is my favorite. I think there is a little bit of variance within pigment uh, when just depending on what shade you pick, but if you do pick this shade, which is Pillow Talk, you are going to get such a gorgeous formula. I would say right away, if you are looking at the ones from YSL, I would recommend these over those. I think this formula is more similar to the YSL in my collection, but it's, again, it has a decent amount of pigment to it, but I just personally find that this formula I don't know, it, it just feels more forgiving on the lips. You really have to kind of balance the right amount of pigment and translucence within these formulas. Kind of capture just that perfect flattering look. I have loved this product for a very long time. It is a little messy, um, this kind of like twist up formula, but also the YSL has that. A lot of these have that kind of twist up formula. It just is what it is. Or twist up mechanism, I should say. Let's talk about a lip formula that kind of solidified my love of liquid lip balms. Honestly, I could have sworn I had another shade in here. Nevertheless, these are the Rowan Liquid Lip Balms. This was a holy grail for me for a very long time, hence it pretty much being gone. It's the Rowan Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Charlie. I still hands down recommend this and I could not be happier that I discovered this. The reason I still think that this is one of the best liquid lip balms on the market is one, you get a precise applicator. Something you might be noticing throughout this video is the downside of that kind of click up applicator, the gloss stick or liquid lip balm, the balm formula within a stick, you just get less precision. You have such a precise applicator with this formula. My favorite way to describe this formula is it kind of having this stained glass effect. You can see the way it shears out. This is also truly a balm formula. It feels balmy, nourishing. There's a touch of a slip to it, but again, it's not too oily. Even on my hand right now, I can't tell you, there's really no stickiness to it at all, and yet you get this really pretty shine. Still one of my favorite lip formulas on the market. And then this is the shade, what is it, Remy. And this is much better if you enjoy a warmer nude. This is admittedly not my favorite shade. I just don't lean towards these. I'm much more of a fan of Charlie, but yeah, I could not be happier with this formula. It does have a touch of kind of like a minty smell to it. So I know some people don't like that, um, but I do think it's one of the best liquid lip balms you can find. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on Remy just because I don't quite use it much. Also going to pass on the shade Orchid from uh, Tarte because I'm not using this much either. Speaking of Tarte, I also have the Peachy Beige shade in the Juicy Plump formula. I forget what happened with this. I think maybe I couldn't get the ClickUp applicator to work anymore or something, but, but here's a swatch of this color for you. Not my favorite, these kind of Peachy Beige shades. This is a little grody, so I might just throw that out but I'll see if a friend wants it first. In my experience, that color is going to be more likely to look 
like just have that differentiation mark on the lips between the color and your lips. So just be aware. Let's talk some K-Beauty. The Roman Glasting Melting Balms are some of my favorite as far as, as far as melting balm formulas go. We have the shade 01. This one is really good. Again, if you love that warm nude, very, very pretty. And what's nice about these, maybe you can tell just the way I'm swatching them. These have this beautiful mix of being a balm while also having that pretty glossy finish. It's a little bit thinner than the Hourglass, thinner than the one from Tarte. And I have found feel really nice on the lips, like really feel like they're uh, doing something for them. Whereas, you know, some formulas just don't feel like they're doing much. Um, this is the shade two. This is one of my favorites just because I love that pop of color. It brings such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade, um, especially for the springtime. And if you're not familiar with what a glasting formula does is when it goes onto the lips, you're not getting the full glossy effect. When the pigment goes onto the skin and kind of warms up, the shine starts to come through. Very popular in K-Beauty products. And then this last shade is Mauve Whip. It's the shade number seven. I've only used this one a couple of times, but super pretty for this time of year. Definitely a shade I can see a lot of folks liking for this time of year. Just has that perfect amount of plum while being nice for like an everyday lip. So those are the three shades I have. I'm such a fan of Roman lip products as a whole, and this is definitely one of the best affordable lip products you're going to find in this video. And by the way, if you're also new to my channel, you don't know kind of my take on affordable makeup, I never recommend something because and solely because it is affordable. I have to absolutely love the formula, despite the price point. I might have a code going right now with Yes Style um, if you guys want extra money off potentially, so I will leave it uh, down below. Now, this is a liquid lip balm formula that I feel like people don't talk about enough. It's from Fenty. It's the Pro Kisser Luscious Liquid Balm. Uh, this is the Choco, yeah, the Coco Drizzle shade. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Beautiful. I think it's such a perfect brown liquid lip balm. Um, just great to have in your bag. You can see you can build up the pigment, but it feels like a thinner version of the Rowan liquid lip balms. Has kind of just like a faint vanilla scent to it. Really shears out prettily. It soaks right into the lips. You're not going to get long lasting shine from this, but you will get good moisture, you're gonna get a really pretty color and a very comfortable formula. Let's talk about this shade from About Face. This is the shade Cherry Pick. It is their lip color butters. And the reason, I, I know a lot of folks really love these. The reason I haven't been a fan is, you can see right off the bat, it's a lot of pigment. And for there to be so much pigment with a formula like this, it just, for me, it makes for a little bit of a messier time. Also, when you have a formula like this that has so much pigment, you're, it's just more likely to look a little bit streaky um, on the lips. That being said, this is a beautiful color, absolutely beautiful. And I think maybe some of the more sheer shades or, you know, I'm not sure, I haven't swatched all of the shades. Potentially there could be some other shades that I think would get along better with me within this sort of formula. So I would say, you know, this shade, cher Cherry Pick, very, very pretty, but just in general, I found it to be more of a messy, um, not great for every day kind of lip product. And these formulas that, you know, a glossy balm, melting balm formula, liquid lip balm formula, these are perfect for every day, typically. So when I deal with a fussy formula, I'm way less likely to reach for it. Now, I have a little hidden gem for you all. These can be a little bit more difficult to find, so I'm going to try and link them down below for you all, but they are the Jelly Balms from Lanolips. I've mentioned these maybe once on my channel, but this is my little hidden gem. These are some of my favorite liquid lip balms on the market. Take what I love about a liquid lip balm and add just that beautiful, kind of gloss stick formula. So this is the shade Cherry. I love, 
Love this shade. They're so comfortable on the lips. Gorgeous popsicle scent to them. And I also love the strawberry shade as well. It just depends on what you're going for. These are obviously pretty similar, but I have found that, you know, the cherry shade's a little bit better for winter, the strawberry maybe a little bit better for spring. Depends on your skin tone as well, but I love these, especially if you love a popsicle lip, but you want it to feel hydrating and have like just emit this beautiful shine. They also feel really nice on lips. I'm not left with a sticky residue or just an awkward feeling like some more glossy products can give. Now, I would say if you want something truly balmy, these aren't as balmy as say, I don't know, the Summer Fridays lip butters. Like this has a lot of butteriness to it, a little bit more slip. These have a touch more grip and stick to them. So if that doesn't sound like something you would like, but if you're a fan of like the lip plumps from Tarte, the Hourglass formula, this to me feels more in line with those. That being said, speaking of the Summer Fridays lip butters, this is the shade, what shade is this? I don't know, oh, brown sugar. I've talked about this formula before on my channel. First of all, I love the color. Color is pretty, pretty beautiful, but something that I don't know if you'll be able to notice right away. These are much more oily than some of the other lip products we've talked about. This is a lip butter liquid lip balm formula that I think is best for folks that prefer something a little bit more sheer, a little bit more buttery, slippy, you know, something that's gonna sink right into the lips. If you like more of a lip oil, like a traditional lip oil formula, but you do want something with just a touch more oomph, I think that you will definitely be a fan of this. For me, it's not within my preferences. I don't think it's a bad product though. And that's kind of like the nuance that I always wanna offer you all is that I don't think that this is a bad product. It's just within my preferences. Um, it's just a touch slippier and it's not something that I've reached for a ton, but I know a lot of people really love it and find that their lips really love it. I'm gonna leave the name of this 3CE lip product down below because unfortunately it's not on here, I forget. Um, but this is the shade Under Pressure. I wanted to mention this one because I also think it's another great option opposed to the YSL. Again, it feels kind of like a fuller pigment lipstick with a touch of a shine. Um, obviously that's gonna depend on the shade you get as well, but I wanted to kind of call this out as an alternative. Again, one of those like lipstick lip balm formulas. This is not quite as thick as the one from YSL. But if you're looking for a similar amount of gloss and a similar amount of pigment, I think you're gonna get that with these. Admittedly, those aren't my favorite from 3CE. There are some lip products I love more from them, but if you have been wondering about these Peri Peri Mood lip balms, um, I'll again, I'll leave a link down below to them. I have two shades. I have the shade 03 right there, and then I also have the shade 04. They don't have a ton of pigment. They just have this kind of sheer, glossy vibe to them. For me, these make for a great layering product. They make for a great everyday no makeup makeup lip product because again, they're not gonna, these colors aren't gonna overtake a look. They're more of a lightweight uh, glossy balm formula. They're not super, super thick. Those are also on the more affordable side so that you guys know. This is a newer formula that I just have to talk about again. I've talked about these a few times on my channel. And I will say technically these are called lip oil creams, but essentially, in my opinion, these are liquid lip balms and you get a variety of different pigmentations depending on, depending on the shade. So these are the Ritual Defeat Thorn Bite Cream Lip Oils. We have the shade Rose Bite, which I just can't wait till you guys see these shades. Look at that. Perfect. We have another favorite of mine, which is Rose Bloom. You'll see why in a second. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This is just a touch cooler. Rose Bloom is a touch cooler versus Rose Bite. My favorite lip prep maybe of all time I found is, is Rose Dew from this line. Now I'll do a swatch over here just because it's clear, you know, you're not really gonna be able to see much here people but the reason I love it is 
it manages to make my lips feel so nourished. Formula has this beautiful slip that doesn't feel overly oily. Just the amount of hydration and nourishment that I get with this product as a lip prep in such a short amount of time, it's kind of insane. For me, it kind of feels like a face mask for the lips, like that kind of product that like you need your lips to look good immediately. This is going to really save them. But on its own, like I wear it on its own just because it gives such a plush look to the lips. Oh, so pretty. Um, this is the shade Rose Crush right there. Very similar to Charlie from the Rowan line. So pretty. I mean, hopefully you can see. These are like right up my alley as far as shades go. And lastly, this one has the most pigment. This is Rose Punch. And that, yeah, that has certainly the most pigment out of all of the shades. But I don't think that you can go wrong with these, you guys. I will say I'm noticing they do get a little messy, which is kind of a bummer. But you get this beautiful glass packaging. You do have the doe foot in here, so you can be more precise with them. I just have been absolutely loving them. I think they're like really a home run from Ritual Defeat. I do have another one of my a Happy Kiss Balms from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Passion Kiss. Hopefully you can see immediately when I was talking to you guys uh, earlier about how some shades have more color. This has way more color. Still kind of think that this is a better formula than the YSL Candy Glazes. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a swatch on that one. Now this lip balm formula from 3CE, this is the shade Rosy. Um, I prefer this formula to the lipstick formula that we just talked about. It's a little bit more glossy for me. It kind of hugs the lips a little bit more comforting in general. This is a lip formula that I would love to try again in another shade. Again, you know, these warmer nude shades are just not my jam. Um, again, I'm not finding this to be much of a rosy shade, but you kind of take a risk with that with some K-beauty products, which is why I like to always try and review as many as I can for you all. Um, yeah, this isn't quite rosy, but I do have a feeling a lot of you will really enjoy this shade. And it's pretty similar to like some of the hourglass shades that we saw um, and a great, great formula. I think 3C is definitely a brand to have on your radar if you haven't heard of them. Again, it doesn't have the, the name on it and I forget what the name is, but I'll leave it down below for you all. Shall we talk about the Rare Beauty Liquid Lip Balms? Really love the formula. The shades I think are a little on the nose and I've talked about that before. So we have Nearly Move, great applicator. Again, I really enjoy just the, the comfort of these when they go on the lips. I think the pigmentation is a great balance. We have Move, then we have Berry right next to it. Definitely more Berry. Whereas kind of, you know, you see them in here and you're like, oh, they both kind of look like a berry, but this is way more berry to me. Um, my favorite, which is the shade Nearly Neutral. Just such a pretty shade. Um, and you can build up the pigment, but you can see, I mean, they feel truly like a balm formula. Just the right amount of heft, but while still being relatively uh, lightweight on the lips. And then this shade, which again, um, this is the shade Nearly Rose. I think you can see Nearly Rose, it, kind of is a good example of just how flat the color kind of looks. They, I just feel like they could have done so much more with these. And then Nearly Apricot is kind of the same story. It's right there for you all. I kind of like that shade a little bit more. But yeah, so I think I can finally pass some of these along. I'm going to keep these two. These are my favorite shades, uh, Nearly Mauve and Nearly Neutral. And I'm going to pass along these three shades. Again, great formula. Those shades just, they don't tickle my fancy. Now this lip cushion formula from M Cosmetics, minus the dog hair. This is a product that was definitely ahead of the curb. These lip cushions. Um, what shade is this? This is the shade Magic Hour really comfortable on the lips. We have the shade Venetian Rose. They are, I think, similar to something like 
Hmm, like the about face ones. What shade is this called? Mystic. Mystic is very pretty, but you can see, you can see it definitely is not lacking in the pigment department. Something I prefer about this format of the M Cosmetics is that the applicator is smaller, so you can get, even though they have more pigment, you can be more precise with it. Whereas the ones from About Face, they're bigger, which by the way, I didn't, it's the shade Cherry Pick. Did I swatch this already? No, this is, Cherry Pick is the name of them. Oh, I need to re-swatch those for you guys, but let's, let's deal with one thing at a time. Shade Faded Clementine, kind of a weird shade. If I'm being honest, it looks a little green. You see that? It kind of looks, has like a green thing going on with it. Um, I think I'm gonna immediately pass that along because that's not appealing. Um, and then the shade Angeli. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm definitely gonna keep the shade um, Angeli and I think the shade Magic Hour. And then I'm going to pass these two along. This is a good formula. I think if you thought that like the Hourglass Volumizing Lip Balms or the Tarte, if you wanted that formula with just a little bit more pigment and a little bit more buttery, then I think you'll like these more. These definitely have a butteriness to them. I prefer something with a little bit more of a gel formula rather than something that leans buttery, oily. Not that these are super oily, but you guys know what I mean. Within the scale, depending on your preferences, um, I think someone that prefers something more buttery will really like these. So I have two shades of the Cherry Pick Lip Butters. So this is the shade, the Cranberries, which is the one that I already did swatch for you all. Again, beautiful shade, just I wish the formula was a touch different. And then here's the shade Berry Smash. This is a bright one, it's not my favorite. They have a very strong fruity smell as well, kind of like noticeably fruity when I have it on my hand, which is not always my favorite. I like something, you know, pleasant. And these are a little bit overwhelming as far as the scent goes. I'm going to keep the shade, the cranberries, and I'm going to pass along the berry smash. Kaja Heart Melter, in the shade Honey Bun. I think I'm gonna finally pass this along um, I don't think it's a bad one, but just didn't feel like it was doing enough for my lips as far as like filling in the lines of the lips. I wanted a little bit more, maybe you can see from the swatch, we have the Kaja Heart Melter and then this is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe you can tell even just from the swatch, hopefully, the way the Charlotte Tilbury kind of fills in the lines and kind of offers a little bit more smoothness than the one from Kaja. That's why I prefer a formula more like this. So I am gonna pass along that one. Now the Fit Glow Lip Serums, the color lip serums are essentially liquid lip balms. This is the shade uh, Gospel, uh, my personal favorite. I also love the shade Root. Is this Root? Yes. Essentially, if you're looking for one of the best liquid lip balms on the market, look no further. The reason I love them, they have the perfect balance of feeling like a liquid lip balm, but also having this plush, buttery, truly nourishing and a healing feeling when they're actually on the lips. And they look beautiful once they're on. So they have the aesthetics down, but also my lips feel incredible when I'm using them. That's the shade Nude. These are expensive, but I will tell you, they are a consistent product and a consistent love on my channel. This shade Beach Glow I used in an Instagram reel um, pretty recently, and actually it's way prettier than I expected. Just kind of like this peachy bronze shade that really looks very pretty on the lips. And then lastly, there's the night color, which is literally just completely clear. It's hard, I'm putting it on my lips right now. It's hard to pull this out and not put it on. The perfect buttery texture that doesn't feel super oily. They're expensive, but like this shade Root, I would happily pay for full price, insanely gorgeous on the lips and are actually doing something for them um, when you wear them. So, so a great multi-use functional everyday product. And you can see the pigment, the way the pigment shears out is very pretty. 
great formula, just a absolute absolute home run. Again, that is definitely more of a buttery lip formula, but they don't feel uncomfortably sticky or oily. So um, that tends to be my favorite lip balm that leans on the buttery side as far as liquid lip balms go. Now, now these liquid lip balms, I have talked about them before. I have the shade Plum. They did recently launch um, like their nude line. I don't know why this is being so difficult to come out right now, but there's the shade Plum, so pretty. We have the shade Jam as well. Being so annoying, they must be cold or something. Shade Jam, and then my personal favorite, which is the shade Goji right there. It's such a pretty coral shade. Just, oh my gosh. These are so pretty. They have just such a juicy appearance on the lips. They have a more of a long lasting glossy look and they feel like nourishing on the lips, like they do the work. As an aesthetic only product, they're also super pretty. I don't think, have I swatched hibiscus before? I don't think I have. Wow, that is bright. Have I swatched this? No, I have. I just, I typically am gonna reach for like goji over like this Barbie pink. But listen, if you're into the Barbie pink look, that delivers. And what's nice about it is it has enough translucence. Um, it's not like overly milky. Uh, so I think these are another home run. Um, and they're, again, they're more affordable. They feel great on the lips. As far as like the colored liquid lip balms go, I think that these are a great option. An option that I wouldn't recommend and I'm going to declutter is the Extreme Care Glossy Lip Balm from uh, Essence. Just looks really, really awkward on the lips. Like kind of ghostly and milky and just not, not very flattering. Not sure what they were trying to do with that color, honestly. We have the Shine Balms from e.l.f. and I might go ahead and include these in my like tinted lip balm video because what you'll see is that these, even though that looks decently shiny, these aren't really that shiny. Like the shine doesn't really necessarily last on the lips. Um, they kind of sink right into the lips after you put them on. If you want that kind of black cherry shade, I think Aesthetic is a touch too purple for it, but it is a good option. In general, I don't think it's a bad product, but not my favorite. I'm gonna keep ecstatic and then declutter happy. Now the Petal Pout Lip Masks from Flower Beauty, these are so old and very grody, so I'm, I'm going to declutter them. Um, but I will say if you are looking for a liquid lip balm formula, kind of similar to the, the Jelly Balms from Lips, these are so good and I believe these are vegan. Um, the ones from Lips, I don't think are vegan. I just kind of assume that nothing from Lips is. But yeah, these are a really, really nice option. Um, great, just sheer pigment, great balminess and feels nourishing on the lips. I like that there's still a bit of translucence to them but I am going to throw those away because they are pretty old. A couple of L'Oreal uh, liquid lip balms. These Rosy Utopia has a little bit of a pearl to it, a little bit of sparkle. And then my personal favorite, which is Angelic Daydream. These have touch more of a fruity scent to them. They've got the shine, they've got a slip without being too overly oily. Good pigmentation there you know there's still a bit of translucence so the natural lips can shine through I would say go for one of the shades without the sparkle that's just my preference but I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter rosy utopia and then keep um, angelic daydream next we have the espoir I think espoir lip balm this is another K Beauty brand this is the shade cranberry and this is one of those balms that you think it's gonna be like the melting balm formula and it's pretty sheer and it takes a lot to melt it down. I feel like this is something between the regular everyday tinted lip balm and the glassing balm that tends to have a little bit of a thicker texture and a little bit more glossiness. I don't think it's a bad one but certainly not my favorite. I would lead you more towards the tomato from Skin Food, the tomato jelly lip tint. This is a really good one if you want something similar with just a little bit more pigment, a little bit more of that jelly glassing formula. So pretty. Definitely not a tomato color. Um, this is the shade number one, but nevertheless, 
super, super pretty. Light kind of powdery fruit smell. Not my favorite, but not really noticeable. Pomelo Dew from uh, Amuse. And this is a little bit slippier, a little bit shinier. So I tend to consider this more like a glassing balm than I would, again, for example, with the Espoir uh, tint. It will kind of go down and sink into the lips eventually. So not super long lasting as far as glossiness goes and hydration, but nevertheless, better for someone that wants a lightweight formula. If you want something with a little more heft, this is essentially, it's a tinted lip oil, they say from Chapstick, but it's essentially um, a liquid lip balm formula, in my opinion. The shine, the translucence, the balminess, with that comforting, um, like glossy oil to it without it being like overly oily. Like this formula is bonkers good. I've talked about it for a long time on my channel as kind of like this hidden gem that no one talks about. I found it, picked it up on like a whim and I just think that it's one of the better liquid lip balm formulas ever. Another one that can sometimes be difficult to find, so I'll leave a link to it. The Well People Hydrating Balms. These are a really interesting kind of hybrid product in my opinion. They're kind of similar to the Naturium, but a little bit thicker. You can see that there. Oh my God, this color is insanely pretty though. What shade is this? I forget the shade name. I have black cherry and then um, blackberry currant is that more purpley shade. For me, like a better option than the ones from About Face if you want a decent amount of pigment with more of a lip balm texture. Though I will admit these aren't quite as glossy as the ones from About Face. So I guess it just kind of depends on what you're going for here. But in my opinion, a very pretty product. Next, we have the Juicy Ping uh, Color Lip Balms. Uh, this is the shade CRO2. Um, this was not really, I wasn't expecting this to be as thin as it is. You can build it up and it does have a good grip once it's on the lips, but I was expecting it to be a touch thicker just from like the swatches I've seen online. Personally, as far as glassing lip balms go in the K-Beauty realm, I think that the Roman ones are my favorite but I do like the Choosy Pang ones as well. And if you have any recommendations, please let me know. The Ink Credible um, Lacquer Lip Tint, I'm pretty sure this was discontinued, but I did want to give it a mention since it is very, very pretty. Similar in, I would say pretty similar in texture to the ones from Charlotte Tilbury. Really, really glossy, very, very thick and jammy. Just gives you that beautiful jammy look to your lips. It's a great one. If I can find a link to it down below, I will. Um, but I think it might be discontinued. So that's everything. Let me share with you guys what I'm decluttering now. Honestly, for going into this video thinking I wasn't gonna declutter anything, I think that's actually not bad. And here is my collection still. This is definitely one of my favorite lip product categories. I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned. I have some more decluttering collection videos upcoming. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.